Hey, welcome, welcome back to Let's Animate 30 Seconds of The Force Awakens. Um, just left off working on our Yes Man in the boardroom here. I ran upstairs. I grabbed some coffee. It's been sitting there all morning. Usually doesn't bother me, but I take a drink of this, and it tastes like absolute garbage. I don't know what it, I, I drink my coffee black. Um... So it's, it's not the cream, it's not, you know, sugar, there's no imbalance there, there's nothing wrong with creamer, it's just straight coffee, it's just black coffee. I think what the issue is, is that uh, it's a lot, it was the last little bit in the pot. I uh, I still had some coffee in the mug, and with the, being the last little bit in the pot, I said, oh, it's gonna, it will have gotten really hot, because, the, you know, the burner is just heating up that little bit of coffee. I'll throw it in with the old stuff, it'll heat everything up to this nice, nice reasonable enjoyable temperature to finish off my last cup of coffee for the morning here and uh it's not it's not that at all it's really bad but i'm gonna drink it because i need something to to lubricate the old talking pipes um and it does a good job of that it's perfectly acceptable for that job but um yeah it's it's not good and i'm not i'm not a picky guy i'm not a like I remember talking one guy one day with uh, a couple of people I used to be pretty good friends with. They stopped by, we had a couple of beer, and they just were were disgusted by the beer that I served them. <laughs> they were just, oh my god, you how can you drink this? You drink this crap? And I'm like, I don't really. I just go to the beer store and I buy beer. I don't really. I'm not a. I'm not a. A snob like that, you know. I don't. And the same thing goes for coffee. Unless it's like really, really strong or just like so weak it's brown water. I don't I don't really care. I mean I'll notice that some some coffees are better than others. There's some that I just can't drink because I don't know if they're too acidic or, or what, but I just it just wreaks havoc with my uh with my uh I don't even know what. It gives me heartburn, it gives me I don't know, it just makes me uncomfortable. So I found this one brand, and I just kind of stick with that out of uh, out of fear of trying anything else. Uh, but I'm not a snob about it. I don't. Uh, and one coffee of, of one cup of something else is not going to uh, to affect me at all. It's just when I was drinking this other particular brand, you know, two, three, four cups a day sometimes, depending. Usually around three cups. I'm up pretty high on cups now, but um, usually I try to only get around. Why is that? <laughs> Did I move this layer at some point? That's unfortunate. Um, <laughs> why would I do that? Uh, yeah, usually I'm up around... Uh, I like to be around three cups a day. One in the morning, one after... You know, mid-morning, maybe, like uh, pushing push noon. And then uh, one after supper. But... Um, you know, we we eat early though around, so I'd be having my last coffee around six, and that's always uh, it's always been what I've kind of tried to strive for. <laughs> I just moved the wrong thing again. But then lately, ever since the new year, I've been drinking a ton of coffee, up to about probably a good five or six cups a day. A lot of them though, I don't finish the cup, so it's really hard to measure. Like, it's a small carafe that I make the coffee in, and then. I don't even use the whole carafe. It's about three quarters full, maybe, for every pot that I make. And then I don't always finish every pot. And then I get about three cups out of a pot. And then I'm, I'm on about two pots per day. I get about three cups, three mugs, but I don't always finish them. Sometimes I'm dumping some out. Sometimes I'm just adding back to that. Uh, from the craft to the cup, right? So it's only like I have two. It's like saying, oh, yeah, two cups. But, well, I didn't finish the whole first one. So really it's like it's like one and three quarters, right? doesn't sound like a big difference, but you do that several times a day. And it's like, well, how much coffee did you have today? Well, I made two pots. It's like two pots of coffee. How could you do that to yourself? What are you doing? That's too much caffeine and blah, blah, blah. It's like, well, just what that actually means i mean the, saying two pots is just like saying you know it's about noon right? well it's not noon it's 11:55 how could you do that that's not 
Well, it's just something you say to get a point across. Yeah, I had a couple of pots of coffee. Doesn't mean I consumed, you know, 15 million milligrams of caffeine. But regardless, we're going to try to figure out what I've done here. I've moved this guy. I'm sorry for all the clicks. I, I just, yeah. I, uh, I flip back and forth. I do a lot of that. I know it can be annoying, but that's just the way she is, man. Just the way she is. Now, can we try to get a stroke color on this nose that is somewhat similar to this? Let's, um, how do we want to do this? Let's move the nose layer ahead and we'll fill that in. Then we will go like this and we will go like this and we will pick a fill color and our fill color will be somewhat so we were going to try to give this guy a little bit of ethnic stuff but I don't really that's going to be close enough and then for our stroke let's try and get a similar good enough for the girls I go out with okay so that's our setup there for the nose we bring this back we'll put it here we get rid of this where's the nose over here for some reason see I moved it into the bone layer on the right here from out of the bone layer into the bone layer and it moved from here to here why no clue not a flipping clue I should take some animation courses I'm, I'm like Oh, if I change careers again, I will be strung up like a, a, I don't know what. I will be run out of my own house. I can, I can guarantee it. But, you know, th just doing this has made me realize I should have followed my quote-unquote dreams um, a long time ago and, uh, and stuck with um, some of the more creative ambitions that I had and, uh, and not been so focused on paying bills <laughs> uh, no if you gotta pay bills bills are important you'd be amazed if you don't pay your bills you'd be amazed how quickly people want to come and shut off your power it's like they'll do that they've never done it to me because I've focused on paying my bills this nose looks like absolute trash this is when I start to uh to move away from the source material because I'm not following it directly so what I end up producing it just looks like garbage so I'll just produce what I want to produce and it should end up maybe a little bit better I think what we'll do is we'll just um, I'm gonna take the nose layer and we're gonna end up we'll take the stroke off put the fill on will that even look better that might look better when we get it closer to his uh, his face color. Um, if we go like this, like this, like this, boom. Take that back. We want it lighter but dark. Lighter or darker? Like that? Is that what we want? Maybe, maybe. I don't. I don't know. Um, but yeah, it's amazing how much those companies want their money for services rendered I don't know yeah, greedy little guys I think but I guess if they give you the service you gotta pay for it right it's the way the world works and in order to pay for it you got to do the work you gotta get paid son <laughs> mm-hmm I don't know I'm not convinced his eyes should also be bigger because if we want him to look kind of confused, do we have the space to give him these sort of confused looking, you know, attention averting? Does that get the point across? Might not. They're too small. These guys are going to have that big old anime eyes here. I just say that because I hear other people say it. I don't really know what that means. <laughs> like I know what anime is, obviously, but I'm not. I'm not into it. I'm not up on it. I'm not down with it. I'm not any of those things. But um, I've seen anime eyes. I know what the 
the general gist of it is, but we're going to do it here as well. Don't know, Joe. Don't know. I guess we could... Um, if we were to... And then we gotta end up giving him like a whistle mouth. All right, he's gonna need a regular mouth, and then he's gonna need a uh, a whistle mouth. Mouth, mouth. The other problem with having this microphone here is it's in the way of me being able to see the keyboard, and I can type without. Ugh, I can type without uh, looking at the keys. I mean, I'm. I'm not a secretary or, or anything like a office administrator that can type 90 words per second or minute or whatever it is 90 words a second would be pretty impressive but when I, <laughs> I did it again maybe I do need to see my keys I, I don't actually but um, when it comes time to doing things like uh, especially on this keyboard I need to find the backspace or something it's tougher I need to uh, I need to see um, so what does uh an animated whistle mouth even look like yeah like that exactly like that uh, no but seriously seriously folks I don't know why it does that it's like clicking on the line in between two colors will give you black I was like that level of detail is is mind-boggling to me how did you end up doing that what do whistle lips even look like do 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 well they only become whistle lips once you uh, put the little music notes coming out of them right I mean that's that's just atrocious I mean that's not even anything this this is like an artist's uh, paint palette thing right put some holes in here and that's what it is yeah, that's just preposterous. Puckered lips. I mean, it's not. It shouldn't be that hard to uh, to do. Um, what if we did this and this and put these back in here and then pulled this down and this up and then this down and then this up? How does that look? Yeah, that's embarrassing. This is why I get source material and why I'm supposed to get source material beforehand. Because if I don't, I end up making a fool of myself. And like I s always say, this has got nothing to do with the actual story. So I end up just wasting time um, looking how to draw pucker lips for my story that has nothing to do with pucker lips. Surprisingly, very few source material, but it looks like the best way to do it would be to incorporate the chin into the, the movement, right? So if I have this here, I mean, there's one here that is literally just like an O. Like, it's literally just like, how does that even look? Hmm, what if I, I'm kind of on the right track with this. Could do one like, looks like this can get it big enough that is this kind of goes across have this come down and this come down uh, I can kind of stay up and up and then have them touch here again drop these as sharp points it's kind of on the right track with something kind of like this um, like that and then you come up and you're up and you're down and you are up like that and like that. Of course, because he's got the mustache, all of this would be probably hidden behind the hair layer. And we pull this. The big thing is uh, this would be like a, uh, it should be more like a circle proper true circle get those hold there uh, 
Oh yeah, this would be, uh, we need a point here and here. And then, oh, that's not even on there either. Pull that back there. Up, up. I mean, it's atrocious. Like, it's literally, it's atrocious. Atrocious, alimatocious. So we're just going to, uh, we're going to hide that for now. And we're going to sort that out on our own time. Um, come up with something. I've done whistling before, and I don't remember. I don't remember it being nearly that hard. There's also no mustache. I think that's kind of wreaking havoc with my um, with my vision of what it's supposed to look like, right? So yeah. Um, why we can't just do like a. Uh, I guess I should do something like that for the chin instead. Um, uh, that'll be good enough for the for now. Yeah, see, like when they do things that uh, different shading and stuff to help bring the uh, the extra life in, it makes it look so much better. And it just it's something I completely and utterly lack which is fine just uh, we just have to be aware of it and it's not a big deal not a big deal but yeah I was saying before not a lot going on I'm just I'm animating and animating and it's it's cold so there's not much going on out in the great outdoors and there's all kinds of uh, all kinds of other stuff going on that uh, like normally around this time I'd have to go up like I always say I've got some volunteering I have to do and uh, that would be around this time but the building is closed and um, there's stuff going on right now so that's on the kibosh for now and so I don't have any stories I don't have any any uh, not that I uh, ever had these hugely great things to talk about anyway but um, usually there's something I like to come to the table with, with some particular topic yeah, I don't want to just you know, rehash, and I'm watching like old Joe Rogan podcasts. Like I'm going back to uh, uh, beginning of 2017 right now is where I'm at, and uh, just trying to get a flavor, an idea for some of the flavor that uh, that they offer. And uh, so yeah, I'm watching old stuff. So to talk about something from the podcast would just be ridiculous because it's old as well. It's not exactly the most uh, current up-to-date topics right but uh, still I'm loving it they're they're great 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 put on on in the background when I'm not uh, oh yeah that that was horrible coffee I'm gonna have to you're gonna have to excuse me I'm gonna go get some water or juice or something and I'll be like right back Oh, much better, much, much better. Got myself some OJ, threw that disgusting coffee liquid, supposed coffee, <laughs> down the sink. And we're back at it. Freshly lubricated, freshly motivated, just fresh in general. Yeah, 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 throw some points in here throw some points here maybe what I'll talk about is I, I kind of touched on this in an, another a different recording I was doing earlier which shall not be named um, just 
out of interest of uh, trying to keep these these episodes self-contained and, and standing on their own. But um, although it is again about media, but I mean I'm a storyteller. That's what I like. That's what I gravitate to. That's what I'm interested in. So that's what you're gonna get here is talking about stories, talking about stories I've done, stories I've made up, stories I've lived, stories I've seen, stories I've heard, um, all kinds of stuff like that, and uh, and things that I'm interested in. And one of the things that I'm interested in came up um, kind of on my own doing this other video was this idea of, and it's come up too in Spelunky, but this was a, a, a separate time and a, and a more generalized um, explanation of that phenomenon. But um, one thing I like is like, uh, this is all, the, all wrong because, yeah. Um, came up more generalized was um, this idea of cartoon type, like cartoon levels of uh, type of, of of animation and, and, and media, so whether it's a game or a movie or a TV show, but rather than being, um, you know, kind of silly, kind of cutesy, kind of, uh, kind of, uh, this has got to all be bigger, juvenile, which I mean, which is what, you know, cartoons are traditionally meant for, I like them to go more dark, more uh, mature, more serious, heavy. When I say that, I'm thinking probably the most relevant, close, closest to current as we can get kind of example would be um, something like the the Netflix uh, BoJack BoJack Horseman situation. Um, don't particularly care for the show anymore. I thought the first season was great. The first two seasons actually, I thought were really good. Now I I, I haven't even watched all of the the third season. Um, but those first two seasons, first season in particular, when it when that show turns dark, uh, I think is when it shines and when he, he looks at himself dark and, and serious and takes an honest look at himself. You know, the, that's more closely related to, to real life. And so to have that with the juxtaposition of um, uh, what is it, the old man monkey running up and down the street there? I mean, that's huge. You know, the the whale. Is it? A, I can't even remember now. Is it a whale news newsman, news anchorman, or a seal or a sea lion or something? Anchoring the news and and both and then he's living with a human and it's a horse. And it's just, it's just so absurd. That the absurdity level is, is almost similar to the absurdity of real life. So you don't even really notice it, right? And, and they don't address it. They don't say, "Hey, look how weird it is, that it's a horse and a cat that have had this relationship." Or it's this horse and, and, a, and a human female lady that, that are, are flirting with a new relationship. And you just, it's so absurd that it, it, it's the only way to really mirror the absurdity of real life, right? Real life is absurd. Whether you want to admit it or not, it is. And you can try to fake it, but the only way to really measure the absurdity of real life or at least I find one of the best ways is, is is in that kind of example where you've just taken a, a premise so crazy and so, you know, unrealistic and then not even mention it. Don't even, don't even draw attention to it. I say, hey, look how goofy we are. No, don't do that. And just run straight with it. It's the only way, it's the best way that to accurately mirror the absurdity of real life, in my opinion. And, and it's for that reason, uh, that show has always been, those first two seasons of that show, I should say, has always been um, hugely impressive to me. Um, I've always enjoyed it. Our scaling here is all off. I'm going to take the eyes off this guy and we're going to move on because uh, you know I've, I've botched that particular yes man so poorly um, I'm gonna open some source material that we had for the back of a head what did I just do did I add that as a layer or not no I opened it what an idiot 
I've done it again. I'm having an off day. Too much recording today, I think, maybe. Possibly. Not sure. Who knows, right? Like, we want Yes Man 4. Possibly too much recording. I don't know. Maybe I'm just having an off day. We'll see. Um, time will tell. I guess. Um, we'll plop him there, I guess. Eh? Yeah, good enough. But yeah, absurdity um, in, in the form of, of cartoons and in real life and dealing with real life issues. Always a huge huge uh, huge plus in my books and that's what you know a lot of the, the, the things that I want to do um, creatively um, follow that that same idea right using animation using cartoons using um, these childish quote I got my fingers in pretentious quotes here childish um, forms of communication in very mature adult ways um, I think that's that's great. And that runs similar to what I used to talk about, or have talked about in terms of t turning old old media properties, old shows, old stories that were geared to children, and giving them mature mature take. Right. One of the things I remember seeing as a kid is an old. Um, I think it was like a stop motion type thing, so it wasn't straight, strictly cartoon, but it was stop motion using like, like real world settings, real world props. These were not computer generated. These were not uh, drawn or or um, other in other ways represented, other than their real life things, right? And it was stop motion using these real life props, these real life settings, um, and it was uh, a retelling of um, Alice in Wonderland. And it was so creepy. You know, you'd have these things scurrying across the table and they're like, you know, that jolted sort of staggered movement um, coming out. Oh, it was just terrifying. And I thought that was amazing, right? Uh, it's, and stuff like that has stuck with me ever since. And, and it's guided so much um, in terms of me. It guided me so much in terms of the stories that I, I want to tell now and the things I want to do despite having no background in any of the relevant skills, I'm still determined to get these things out into the world. And, uh, and yeah, it's going to start with some, some really bad uh, Force Awakens uh, Star Wars parodies and really bad, unnecessary, uh, you know, sort of fan tributes to, to a bunch of guys playing video games for a living. But, you know, it's all in the name of, of getting my skills and voice tuned in such a way that I'm ready to, to move on to uh, to my bigger projects and my, my, my loftier ambitions, so to speak. In the meantime, we're just having fun. It's just a bunch of nonsense. Who cares if this guy looks ugly? Who cares if these aren't nothing is proportioned properly? Who cares if, if Abrams' hair looks like, you know, month old spaghetti? Our puns are bad. It's all in good fun. We're learning. We're having a blast. Thanks so much for joining me and until next time. Thanks very much. See you soon.